it's like super windy. I don't know if you can even hear me. Man, oh man. Well, at least I get to see how my property reacts to a good snowstorm. There's drift snow everywhere. Gosh, I wonder what my little cave over here looks like. Man, oh man. There's a ton of snow here. I don't even want to look around the corner. Oh man. Can I even make it in here? Well, it's drift snow, so... Gosh, I gotta reach down to get into the key. Oh. So this basically should just stay put, I'm hoping. Don't fall in. Oh, thank you. That's what you call drift snow, baby. Stepping into my house. Whew, hello. That's crazy. See, when that starts melting, there's going to be, oh, there's already some water here through the door. Shush. So here's the deal. I'm somewhat disappointed. I mean, I'm not disappointed at all, but I'm somewhat disappointed. I wanted to kind of show that we had horrible weather here tonight. And I was planning on you guys listening to the wind howling outside the walls. Problem is, this house is dead quiet. No, it's not a problem at all. I just didn't get the content I wanted. <laughs> It's quiet in here. I was just sitting in my parents' house, right next door. And I, I, could, I was literally worrying about the house falling apart. And then I come out here and I'm wondering, did the weather quit? What's going on? Of course, I'm encased in foam, so I'm not hearing any weather. That's perfect. I think I'll sleep well in here. No shortage of things to do. So let's just dig in. So it's mock-up time. Here, let me move this stuff so my dad can find the right stuff. All right. So kitchen, kitchen is where we're at. We got done with that wall. So we figured, hey, why not start in the kitchen? So tray ceiling, tray ceiling is the kitchen. So what we gotta have is we gotta have a bulkhead that goes all the way around just like out the hallway. Except here, it's not a two by eight height difference. It's 24 centimeters, so just slightly less than 10 inches. So what we gotta do is build a bulkhead that's just less than 10 inches. So I figured, why not build it like this? Two by fours, and then the frame is made by two by twos. That should work, and then, you know, we fasten it on the wall, just like that. And then we got plenty of space for spots or down lights. And uh, it holds its rigidity and square and stuff. So that should work. So now my dad's found a big long piece and we're gonna see, is it long enough? Nope, not quite. It's just a little short. <laughs> Oh man. 
All right, so that bulkhead's gonna have to wait until tomorrow, and then we can get this whole bulkhead thing done. So we're supposed to have horrible, horrible strong winds tonight. So we're tying up these uh, wood siding pieces just so they don't decide to go flying through the wind. All right, let's call it a night. Thanks for joining us for Monday. Monday out. So that bulkhead is done. Uh, well, the one side. Now we're just missing the one back there. And then we're missing the one on that wall. But that'll come. We just have to get some more two by fours because the ones we got are all hockey sticks. Anyway, that was kind of a pain to put together, but we managed to get it up there. See, the thing is, I'm wore out, but it's only 8.30, so really I should be doing something more tonight. Fine, we'll do something more. This house ain't getting built by itself. That's a fact. Let's, let's do some more of the entryway ceiling. That's still got to be done. So I'm realizing that I'm spending an extravagant amount of time on ceilings. I don't know, ceilings is like my thing, I guess. So, so that's going to be a fancy old ceiling thing with a round thing, with a recessed thing, and it's going to look awesome, but you know, it's kind of a pain to make right. It's got to be centered over that window, and then it's got to be centered over that window. Otherwise, it's going to look weird and out of proportion. So I guess that's what we're doing now. That guy's dead center. Uh, it, yeah, I know it doesn't look center, but we still have to get a bulkhead on over here. So as soon as we get that... 12 incher on over here, that guy's gonna be dead center. Now we just have to finish this ceiling. And then we can start putting some uh, flooring up on top. Well, that was a success tonight, even though it was super frustrating if you got right. I mean, it was just crooked and weird and just skewed and not parallel and all sorts of weird. So, somewhat of a frustrating night, but we still got it done, so I guess all in all, it's, it's a win. Time to get all the tools put away. There. All right, Tuesday out. of your life house. Those are my two by eights and my two by sixes and my flooring and all that. So we're talking above the bathroom, above the entryway area. That's that stuff.
So when I put this guy up, I didn't really know how long it was going to be, so I just put one up there and knew that I had, you know, enough. Well, we just found out that it couldn't be longer than that. So, good job. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, I was just way up in the uh, thing, you saw that. Ceiling's done! So now we're just missing some minor pieces over here and there. Blocking in order to get the drywall to stick and all that. Um, say what? Good night! Good night! <laughs> <clears throat> so now we just gotta finish up here and then, here let me show you this. So those are the same as those. So that floor up there will be the same as the floor here. So I guess that's kind of like a third floor, except not really because you can't live up there. I'm going to have the ventilation system up there, so it's got to have something proper to stand on. And plus, I'm going to use the whole thing as a storage area. So, I mean, it's a huge little space. It's like 35 square meters. That's uh, that many square feet. It's quite a big space and we're done with it framing is done <clears throat> we got the two by eights for the kitchen framing as well so that's tomorrow that's tomorrow I can't find my hat <laughs> found my hat Thanks for watching. So Wednesday's over and this video's over. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of your life house as soon as I upload the videos. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine too. Maybe you enjoy the videos. Perfect. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Say so. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.